Hey Aquarius Seeker! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your 2019 Ministress of Magic, as I like to refer to it. Now this will be your yearly. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, whatnot. Um, very, very, very happy to have you here. Grateful for your presence and your trust. Twelve cards, one for each month, and the thirteenth to represent the entirety of the year. Two clarifiers and a room. Okay? Um, and we will finish up with oracles. Palo Santo. Breathe in. And breathe out. Awesome. Do you trust me, Aquarius? Hmm? You can't seek for my advice if you don't trust me. And I know, trust is earned, not demanded, but you need to decide. Who do you trust? There is no certainty. There's only trial and error. I don't even know why I'm starting with this. It just kind of came out of the blue. So if this speaks to you, good. So I'm going to start with the conclusion of the entirety of the year. I want to see what rules the year, okay, and what's behind every single month's pack of um, divination tools. So let's start with the rune. You ready? I didn't see it. I mixed the cards. I pulled them all facing down. That includes the runes. Closed my eyes and then I made sure that they're facing down. I, I am with you in this process of unveiling 2019 and I'm excited. Okay, let's get to it. Sorry, I keep blowing on the thing to get off. Because I'm OCD. <laughs> Alright. Ehe was representative of the Yggdrasil tree from which Odin hung himself for several nights and days to achieve the knowledge of the runes. And they did, in fact, unveil themselves to him. It's like the hangman of the tarot. But it's also like the death card. This is the connection between heaven and earth, between above and below. It's portals between the worlds. So either this year is a, a year of transition, or it's the year of you receiving a lot of strength to handle things in ways that you didn't know you can do. You know, you'll, you'll be discovering your own strength this year, Aquarius. Things that you didn't know you had in you or they were numb and are now coming out. It's like... The Yggdrasil was also used to, they used to make weapons out of it, you know, like arrows and bows from that type of wood. So you're tapping into something special inside of you, Aquarius. Let's see the card. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to win something. It's not going to be the fun, the most fun necessarily, but I, with this as the main rune, I see you overcoming it. Now, no coral is pleasant, but knowing that you have the right tools is a lot. That's a good start. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, that's wonderful. And the Lovers. I see what this is. Okay. You're going to be facing a choice this year. Aquarius, you're going to have to make a choice, and it's going to be a deep, meaningful choice of a very specific path that you'll be taking this could, like completely two different completely two different directions that can literally change the course of your life, not to sound dramatic. But here's the thing. I see you making the right choice, the Ace of Pentacles, because you're connected to who you are on the inside, and that's also the guidance. The guidance tells you, listen, don't worry about the how. Because we will give you the tools, the weapons, the protection, the guidance in order to do what you need to do. But one thing is certain, you cannot keep sitting on the fence. You have to make a decision and that decision needs to come from your core of your being, from knowing who you are and what you are. More so what you are. Like Act from the root chakra and not from the mind. Don't make decision based of what it is that you think you should or, or who you think you want to be, who you are, what resonates most with your knowledge, your abilities, your essence. Because your dilemma will be from a place of the mind trying to control your essence. 
This is the year of you facing your essence, who and what you are and how you are. Owning it, being proud of it, and just going about it, setting the route. Once you do that, things will become very, very clear and you'll have the power and strength and the success once you walk that path. You will acquire the wisdom that you will need for it, the weapons that you need, the toolbox. And once you make that one first step, you know, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, Lao Tse. Take that one step, that one leap of faith. Don't trust in me. Trust in yourself and who you are. Trust that it is good and great and okay. That you don't need to be anyone else or anything else. Even if it's just a figment of your imagination of something that you idealize and want to be as. You are perfect as you are. And the minute you'll start walking your own path using your own legs and the tools that you've, you've received in this lifetime, what it is that you're good at, what it is that you know how to do, and not force yourself into doing something different, you think it's because everything is possible and you want to just, you know, inspire yourself and others to do things that are different than what you are. It, the, it sounds great. I'm happy that you think that that's where it comes from, but I'm going to I'm gonna just put it out there, Aquarius. I'm going to be honest with you. Tough love. Someone has to say it. It comes from ego. You're trying to prove that you're something that you're not because you're trying to prove a point. It won't work for, for you. The, the more you fight yourself, the harder it will be. Once you'll walk the path of yourself, when the, once the, birds, the bird flies and the fish swims and the snake crawls, once you listen to nature and you align with creation and you don't try to go against it, that's when things will become much more clear, much easier. That is 2019 for you. <laughs> okay, let's move on to by the month. We'll put this right here for now. By the way, Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Lovers. The main cards are the After Tarot, and this is the Celtic Tarot, in case you're wondering. And the runes, I made them like a long, long time ago. I carved the runes, I carved the symbol and painted it gold. I'm kind of proud of them. All right, are we ready? Born ready, huh? January.